Hey guys, I am back to do another Power Rangers review, and today I thought I'd review one of few morphers that I actually have on hand. Now note, I'm not going to be reviewing a lot of morphers, so please don't get your hopes up on me doing like every single season morpher, or you know like a certain Disney or you know Saban morpher, because that's not how it's going to work. I only review things that I have on hand, or things I can pick up. So today I'm going to be reviewing my personal favorite of, um, of the uh, Dino Thunder morphers, which would be the Thunder Source Morpher, used by Connor, Ethan, and Kira. Basically, these morphers are, you know, again, they are, you know, wrist-held, as most morphers are, and these all contain their dino gems. Now, each gem has got a certain type of power. Ethan's is, you know, the power of, you know, strength. Um, Connor's is is uh, the power of um, super speed, or, like, really fast speed. And Kira has got the power of sound, I guess, I'm not quite sure what this, what, like, their specific names were, but, but just based on their actions, I can just assume that those are their attacks, or abilities, if you will, such as, you know, Tommy's being, yeah. Anyway, the point is, these here morphers are, you know, the way they are now, but these morphers are actually worn as little tiny, you know, arm bracelets. Only when they're about to use them do they just, like, pop up. And really, I gotta admit that these morphers have probably got a lot of good qualities about them. Let's just take a look at it. Now, first we got just, like, the plain old, you know, T-Rex morpher here. You know, each one has a little, um, each one has a little, I don't know, like, the name of the plastic head. I guess you can call it, like, a prop or, you know, like... I don't know the name of the, you know, like, the heads, but, but, let's just call them heads, for now. So anyway, these head covers are, well, they're, they're pretty well detailed. They are, you know, I guess, Sentai and PR accurate, and they are great, for the most part. And overall, in, in, uh, detail, it, they haven't gone, the whole morpher itself has really not gone through any wear and tear, and, you know, the, and, like, you know, the, the, uh, wristband isn't, isn't bad either, has the little Dino Thunder symbol, has the Japanese writing, I guess you can call it that, and it can chomp things, that's great. So, let's just pop this little puppy on. So usually it's worn on the left hand, as far as I've seen, it is worn on the left hand, just because it's just that great. So, there's this little switch over here, you turn it on in, don't know if you guys heard that, so let me do it again. So right there you got the sound indicating that it's turned on, and then all you gotta do is put your finger here, and then... So that's really all it can do, and it just has the light eyeballs just pop up, like green, stuff like that. And then of course there's a little button here, which is the actual transformation button. And that sound is pretty much the same for, you know, these two as well. But what's interesting is that it is only for the red chip that, you know, the red head chip that the eyes light up green. That's the really, like, funny thing. Which I don't seem to understand at all. Let me just, let me show you what I mean. But first, even, you know, without the, you know, the chip, it doesn't make any sound, because, again, it doesn't have a chip on it. But as you can see, the button still works, despite being chipless. And, and, well, the lights don't really light up either, but still, it works regardless. Now, I'll be put on the Tricera chip. Looks a little better. I kind of like it like this, personally. And so, again. So, there we got the Tricera noise, and, you know, the, like, you know, the Tyranno and the Terra Zord all make their individual noises. But if you saw, the light was red, okay? The light was red, and his was green. 
Now that's what I don't get. Maybe it's because, you know, the green light is only meant for the main head chip, I guess, but it doesn't matter. So, so that's how it is for that. And again, with the red button. Again, it still makes the same sound, but the light is still red on the eyes. But, hey, who is really to complain? Not me. So we got that. Now we got the Terra. And somehow, when you really look at it, it kind of looks like it's almost like the Drago Morpher. I'm saying almost, not is. I'm saying almost. It kind of gives you that Drago Morpher look. Because, you know, like the beak and... You guys know what I mean, right? Hopefully you do. So, like before... Makes the terror noise, but the lights still are red. And again with the button. So, again, I don't really need to explain any more than that. But overall, this is a really great morpher, guys. It is really a great collection to any, like, series that you have in terms of it just being a morpher. So I really recommend that you guys pick up the Morpher. In fact, I actually recommend you picking up th like, like you know, like this one, the Brachio Morpher, the uh, Drago Morpher, etc. Because these, they're really not okay. They, they they aren't as great as you know, like some of the other ones. But hey, this one has got like a lot of you know interchangeable qualities because you know you like can put like any old random chip on there and, and it'll work. Of course, it may not work the way you want it to, but hey. Who's really complaining about that? So, there you go. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Hope you guys have a great day. I will be sure to get to my next Morpher review very soon. But until then, this is me saying goodbye and have a great day. Take care.